Hello everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Umang Mawani and I am software engineer by profession. To know more about me, check my LinkedIn profile mentioned in the description. Today we will solve another problem of our sliding window playlist that is words concatenation also known as substring with concatenation of all words. The problem description says you are given a string s and an array of string words of same length. You have to return the starting indices of all the substrings in the string s that is a concatenation of each word in the given word strings and it can be in any order well the problem description is not very clear let us go through the example and try to understand the first one we have some given string and the array of words so basically if we see the words are foo and bar so if we concatenate them so it will become foo bar or bar foo so we are returning the starting indexes that is 0 and 9 because at index 0 we have bar foo that we can see over here and at index 9 we have foo bar so basically in this problem we have to concatenate the word that is given in a string array and the word that is formed we have to find that in this given string if we see example second the string array given is word good best and word so we have to concatenate all the four words and then we have to try to search in this given string so we have word we have good but these are some extra characters that are not required and then we have best and word hence the output is null in the third example if you see foo bar the that is at index 6 bar the foo that is at index 9 and last one over here that is at index 12 so now let us try to understand the given example and see how we will approach this problem so these are the given words of string array and this is the given string now from this words we can form foo bar and bar foo after concatenating them now this problem has a lot of similarities with maximum sum sub array of size k so in this problem we will keep the track of all the words into our hash map and then we will try to match them with a given string so in our hash map we have foo and we have bar and both will be equal to 1 now starting from every index in the string we will try to match all the words then in each iteration we will keep the track of all those words that we have already seen while we were traversing the string and if the word is not found if it is not present in hash map or the word which is found has the frequency higher than what we already have into our hash map then we can move to the next character into our string and at whichever index we find all the characters are present then we will simply add its indices into our result and return that so if we start solving this problem we know that the substring length which we will require is 6 over here that is after concatenating these two characters so basically we have the word count that is 2 over here and the word length that is the length of each word over here that is 3 and if you see the problem description it says that the words are of same length so we know that we require six letters so when we start with the i loop we will read the first word and we will check if it is present in hash map if yes then we will read another set of character and once we reach that required length or count then we will add the starting position into our result that is i then again we will increment i we will read next set of characters arf is not present in our hash map we will again proceed rf0 is not present into our hash map we will again proceed f double o is present into a hash map so we will read the next three set of characters the is not present hence we will again proceed o double t is not and similarly once we reach over here f double o is present into the hash map we will read another set of characters b a r even that is present into a hash map hence we know that this is one of our answers and we will return 9 so basically in this problem we will see if the given word is present into a hash map and smartly slide our window so that we iterate minimum now let us see the code and try to understand more so first we will initialize our hash map which will have key as a string and value as integer next we will write a for loop to store the given array of words into our hash map so i've written for each and in map dot put i will put the word and for its value i've used get or default which means if the word is already present into the hash map it will get its value and we will increment by one if not it will 
return default value 0 and we will increment it by 1 which is as good as adding the new word into the hash map once all the words are added into the hash map next we will declare our result list as that is the return type and we will also declare few variables like words count and word length words count will be basically 2 over here and word length will be length of each word that is 3 next we will write our for loop that will iterate through the given string s now if you notice it is starting from i equals to 0 and it goes up to i less than or equal to s dot length minus the words count into word length now let us understand this condition in this example let's say our given string was up to this much we can see that the last set of characters is our answer and we will insert 9 into the result now once we move i pointer to here we know that these set of characters will never satisfy the condition of the given words so there is no point in iterating all these characters hence we will only iterate the i loop up to the length minus the word count into word length now inside this for loop we will declare one more hash map that is seen now this hash map will keep the track of those words that we have seen while we were traversing the string if we see in example 2 the word good was repeated three times whereas we only require that word once so when the i pointer reach over here we will mark this scene into our hash map and when we try to iterate the next word the scene count becomes two whereas we only require one hence this hash map will help us to keep the track of those words that we have already seen in each iteration now this for loop is basically to select the range of our window while we traverse if you notice j starts from 0 and j is less than words count because words count is 2 over here that is at first we will choose 3 letter and next we can choose another set of 3 letter and hence we will have this window now this variable next index of word will basically help us to skip the word and set our i pointer at the start of next word for example when i is 0 and j is also 0 the index is at 0 now in the next loop when j becomes 1 i is 0 j is 1 into word length that is 3 hence the index points to 3 so if you notice our index pointer was over here and in the next loop we set our index pointer to here hence the word bar is read in the first loop and foo will be read in the second loop now once we have this index of the next word we will try to set the next word that is by taking the substring of next index that is at 0 and the word length that is 3 that is this substring which is bar now once we have this next word calculated we will see if our map contains this next word if map doesn't contain we will simply break the loop and we will increment the j pointer to the next word now if map contains that means we have seen this word and we will put it into the scene hash map now after this one important check if the count of next word in our scene hash map is greater than its count in our frequency hash map that means we have seen unwanted words and we have to break our if loop for example over here if we see two good but we only require one good that means we have seen more than that was necessary and hence we will break the loop and we will iterate to the next word now if this is not the case and if j plus 1 is giving us the required word count then we will add that i pointer in our result let us understand this last if statement if i was 0 and if j was 0 the index was at 0 that is over here now j plus 1 that is 1 is not equal to word count hence we will not add it into our result now j is incremented by 1 our index is at 3 we will see if who is the required word and in the end j plus 1 will become 2 that is equal to word count and hence we will add that i into our result and also if you see bar foo is the required word so once this for loop is completed we will simply return our result so let me run the code now and it is accepted now before we submit let me summarize the solution to you we will declare the hash map of type string then we will add the array of words into our hash map and we will calculate their frequency 
then we will have these two variables keeping the track of word count and word length now this out of all loop that is traversing from 0 up to s dot length minus the word count into word length now for every iteration we will use the scene hash map this inside for loop will help us to get the index of next word and select the next word now if map doesn't contain this word we will not proceed and we will break over here if map contains that means we have to put it into the scene hash map and increment its count now at any point if the count in the scene hash map becomes more than the frequency map then we will break and we will not find the next set of words and in the end if j plus 1 equals to the word count then we will add the i pointer into the result and we will return the result list now the time complexity of this solution it will be o of n into m into length where this n is the number of characters in the given string s m is the total number of words that are given and length is the length of each word the space complexity over here will be o of m at the most because we will be storing all the words in two hash map in the worst case we also need o of n space for the resulting list so that means our overall space complexity will become o of m plus n now let us submit the solution and it's a success so guys i hope you understood the solution and the explanation do let me know in the comment section if you have any queries and also like share and subscribe this channel to help me solve more problems for you thank you